this video, just a few reminders. If you find that the video is ever moving too fast, remember that you can use the pause and rewind tools. It's also important that you put away distractions so you can focus on the video at hand. Have your journal ready so you can take notes so you're a better learner when you're an active learner. And finally, on occasion, if there's a complex diagram or graph, you'll be asked to print this, add your own notes to it, and then tape it to your journal. Are you ready? Let's get started. In this lesson, we'll look at three videos that will address two key questions. Videos 1 and 2 will center on the question, how do we classify waves? Video 3 will investigate the parts of each of two kinds of waves. In physics, we study two general categories of waves into which all waves that we'll investigate will fall. For this lesson, we'll use a rope to illustrate the first and a slinky to illustrate the second. The first type of wave is called a transverse wave and the second a longitudinal wave. I want you to think of the rope and the slinky as our models of each of the wave categories, but we're going to use an animation for each to illustrate what they are and how they're different. Ready? Here we go. Well, the transverse wave is one in which the particles of the medium, demonstrated by the spheres in this animation, travel up and down only, even though the wave moves to the right. Convince yourself of this by picking one of these dots and focusing on it. You'll notice that it travels up and down, but not to the right. Only the energy transferred by this wave moves to the right. Let's have you try this question. You can answer it below.